Hey there everyone, in this video we will be looking at structural loads. So let's begin with analysis. Let, let's see, let's say that I am already in model. So to begin with I will start with model dot analysis and I will have to capture the first index because I have only, I have only one analysis. So it will be a0 dot to activate it. Let me make it uh, a0 dot activate. So once it is highlighted or it's not necessary that you need to highlight every time it's just a way of visualization so usually automation you won't be visualizing all the things it will be running at uh, back end so to show for this sake of video i have just i'm uh, calling the function activate so let's start with adding a force before adding a force let me choose this face as my uh, sample face for all the loads so it will be ext api dot selection manager dot uh, current selection it will return a, a selection info let me assign it to a variable named as face so we'll be working with face and just to check uh, see if face is highlighted correctly or not i can uh, call this entry point ext api dot selection manager dot uh, new selection so here i will pass my face and you will see this face is highlighted so this is working correct let me add a force so let me assign it to a variable named as f so f is equal to a0 which is my first analysis dot add force so it's a function and it returns a force object so i have a force now uh, same thing applies again you want um, a, ve a vector magnitude or a component so for that let's uh, let me make it as a multi-step force so i already have this and covered in multiple videos so right now it's a magnitude so it will be f dot magnitude dot input and you will see it's a nested list so you will see it's a one second and for output you will see it's zero newton but uh, if you want to make it as a component so first you have to change the defined by uh, uh, property this is f dot defined by and it is load defined by dot components components so you will see it has become xyz and for that if you want to make it variable or constant depends on you i want to make it variable in each load step so i have to pass this multi load step it will be input zero because it's nested and then the discrete values which gives you the flexibility of get and set these things we have already covered in detail in last videos and even there is a dedicated video for this which is uh, multi load step multi load uh, yeah multi load step so here i have um, changed it to uh, two step and then now i will pass for output and discrete value with 0 newton 10 newton and 20 newton and you will see this has been assigned similarly you can do for y component and z component there is no rotation x y z here so let's 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 create a moment so it will be a0 dot add moment it will uh, it returns a moment object so i will assign it to a variable named as moment m so here also same thing m dot location i will i will uh, assign it to the same phase which I, I already have based on your logic you can change it so this is my moment phase and here so in this case let me just uh, instead of variable let me make it constant so for constant i already have zero second i don't i I don't have to do anything so for the input so let me just mark it for output so it will be m dot magnitude dot output dot discrete value uh, here I have to pass a list it will be quantity uh, again I have to pass for zero second and one second so it will be uh, zero and then I have uh, list for newton not a list but inside a list so zero newton and then i can just copy it for the second one so let me pass it 10 unable to convert okay so this is a moment so it will be newton millimeter okay so here you see this is constant and i have passed for only one load step if you want to pass two load step then first you have to go to input zero and make it 
for two load step and then you can come back to output and make it for two load steps and let's add a pressure here so i will assign it to a variable p and it will be eight add pressure okay so in pressure is the same thing i think we already did that before let me render it again so here same load step but instead of uh, mega pass uh, instead of newton millimeter you have to pass mega pascal or pascal so i will assign it to uh, i will use the variable p and here instead of newton millimeter i will just pass pascal and you will see this has been changed for the same uh, for one load step and for second it is constant because you know this is actually constant if you want tabular for different then change it to change to, uh, into two load step for input and then you can come back to output and assign for two load step and sim let's see what else we have you can add uh, bearing load as well so it will be p is uh, is equal to a0 dot add bearing load it's written the function not an object so you have to pass this uh, parenthesis here i don't see anything different it's the same geometry you can pass face and then the magnitude it can be a vector or component so i will it's the same thing that we saw previously and coming to bolt pretension i will create a dedicated video to loop through all the bolts and nuts and create bolt tension similar to object generator we will try to create that or replicate in our act scripting rest everything i don't see anything which is very different so that's all for this video i hope you liked it if you like please subscribe and hit the like button thank you